वेलकम टू डॉक्टरेट वॉइस एल एस और डब्ल्यू फोर स्किल्स प्रीवियसली वी फिनिश्ड ए सेशन ए टॉक ऑन लिसनिंग टुडे वी टेक ए टॉक ऑन ए सेशन ऑन स्पीकिंग एमंग फोर स्किल्स लिसनिंग स्पीकिंग रीडिंग राइटिंग Previously, we finished. We completed listening topic. Today, we take speaking topic. What speaking is? Conversation is different. Speech is different. Today, there is a crazy in English to speak blah 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 blah. We don't know what is it. What does it mean? What does it means? English is not about blah 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 blah. English is. based on our uh, speech is based on two topics two areas one is syntax syntax and semantics language the purpose of language is based on whether it is speech or writing depends upon syntax and semantics syntax means structure of the language semantics means meaning of the language both are important the structure is important the meaning is important not a uh, school going child uh, blah blah language english language speech means immediately we think that okay keep on speaking blah 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 what is it what does it mean nothing mixing up uh, two languages telugu english or hindi telugu or hindi english like tinglish or english already I told you previously to speak language to use language effectively efficiently you need to think in that language you listen you understand you speak out so topic is about speaking why speech is at most important than other skills among these four skills listening speaking reading writing the most important uh, uh, skill is speaking if you imagine the four fingers of your hand so imagine this listening speaking reading writing among these four fingers this is a big one so it is the power of speech speech is always effective and uh, live demonstration it reaches to the person immediately within seconds within minutes it reaches to the person opposite person that's why there is a huge demand a crazy for speaking from childhood onwards we have been exposed to speaking language not speaking conversation language interactive language interactive language conversation language and sp spoken language variations are there so conversation means skip on one topic to another topic skip on one point to another point skip on one idea to another idea speech means to speak about a particular topic to analyze that particular topic clearly correctly fluently without any break without any gap between idea to idea that is called speech ancient people ancient man used speech very effectively efficiently so among all these four language skills speech is the ancient one as well as it is a live process it is about face to face interaction when you speak there are certain Uh, platforms are there to speak to the language it is about face to face speaking one person speaks to another person the it is called face to face there are several types of speaking skills first type is called face to face skill face to face uh, speaking skill one person speaks to another person another person listens you will speak as well as again he respond to it it is called face to face one to one communication is called face to face speech second is one person more than two people it is a group speaking group talk one person speaks more than two or three people it is group talk next type third type is called public speaking to speak to the public to give uh, seminars presentations public speeches and academic lectures and scientific discoveries to analyze these kind of things are called public speeches there are basically there are three types of speaking skills first is face to face skill 
so it is almost conversation type people prefer face to face conversation many times instead of giving uh, a lecture or a talk on a particular topic it is easy to interact with other person it is like chatting it is like uh, informal discussion it is not speech conversation is different speech is different talk is different speech is different speech means to speak on a particular topic that is speech so face to face is easy because there you need more body language skills than speaking ability second is to speak to group two members or uh, three members or more than three members it is called group talk in a group talk just apart from your body language just your focus should be on the person who is responding to you instead of suppose there are three members just you are speaking to those three members you don't speak those two three members at a time you speak to any one out of those three members instead of uh, three members you look at that particular person only it is called group talk second type of speech is called group talk third type of uh, talk is called public talk or public speaking or uh, seminar presentation or whatever it may be a talk on a particular scientific or uh, any other uh, subject area related area topic it is a public talk so there you need more and more data collection than this your seminar presentation your review paper presentation suppose you are a research scholar there you need to give number of oral presentations not easy it takes number of oral presentations and ppts paper uh, ppt presentations powerpoint presentations paper presentations it is about uh, uh, formal reading a paper uh, reading of in a formal language there is a possibility to read a paper in a formal language formal, formal language paper reading next ppt means powerpoint presentation uh, to demonstrate a particular topic your talk on powerpoint presentation in further we go for uh, ppts powerpoint presentations for our videos that is second part part 2 now just our aim is to focus on basic skills of language where we started we started with communication skills communication skills one communication skills two after that fluency one fluency two again third part is called lsrw skills listening skills speaking skills reading skills writing skills already previous uh, presentation we covered listening skills now we are giving a presentation on speaking skill what what is speech and how speech is more effective more influential than other uh, language skills then what are the types of speaking skills why speech is at most important so here coming to uh, this uh, these uh, types of uh, speaking skills so how to improve our speaking ability it is very important thing coming to mother tongue we speak language unconsciously why because it is part of our culture it is part of our lifestyle so daily we converse that language it comes automatically you don't need to stress more and more on that particular language because it is cultural language it is part of your language it is conversation language so you think that i know that language very well that is different coming to english language coming to english language there is a huge uh, commotion there is a huge discussion nowadays go is going on people are speaking butler english people are speaking telugu english in the hindi english what is wrong with it it is a open challenge any indian any indian any scientist any linguist who speaks like american who speaks like englishman it is my open challenge 10000 prize it is my open challenge to anybody to speak like american one minute if you have guts record your presentation and show it to me is it possible impossible why because diphthongs double vowel sounds double vowel sounds language is part of culture your articulation those people who have been in us or england more than 30 years 40 years software professionals as well as doctors they fail to speak like americans are english people more than 30 years they have been staying in america or england they speak their natural language but their children they use american accent they use british accent why because 
your action should be developed up to 5 to 6 years of your age only after 7 years 8 years your articulation or your imitation is not possible it is impossible don't borrow your tongue from america or england use your own tongue speak with your own voice as americans did it they used their own tongue they never they corrected language from england and they developed their own language so nowadays it is a crazy for the people and commenting other people so what is wrong with use your own language why because in telugu language in our mother tongue we have different accents recently there is a crazy of a telangana accent a movie was made a heroine's voice telangana voice and it was appreciated by our minister that year sir because of telangana nativity andhra people use andhra accent rayalaseema people use rayalaseema accent telangana people use telangana accent if you accept that accent means you respect to that culture you respect to that nation then why do you think about american english british english is it possible pygmalion pygmalion is a book written by george bernard shaw there he identified there are 26 written letters in english 44 speech letters in english so i request english people try to change your alphabet to 44 or try to adjust your 44 speech alphabet into 26 letters the confusion is with english the confusion is with english today some of the indians some of our people comment even english teachers they think that their expertise in english language but they don't know abc of english language primary knowledge of english is different getting command over english is very important knowing english is very important and know each and everything is very important organize it is very important so instead of blaming others instead of commenting others instead of criticizing others try to understand if you want to make comments on anybody just you are ready to take that challenge so it is not possible to speak any indians like americans or english people as many times it was proved our ravi shastri best commentator our siddhu best commentator in cricket gavaskar the best commentator even the world cup was held at so and so stadium in england the world cup was held at so and so stadium in australia who are the best commentators our indians they never imitated english people they used their own voice a clear voice if you observe africans they use african accent it is easy to understand african english than american english it is easy to understand british english than american english because that slang is mixed in that language what is wrong with it the entire world is looking at indian english the entire world is ready to accept indian english but indians blame english teachers english lecturers english professors the entire world is looking at us because wherever you go there is an indian english teacher from lkg to university level that is our talent try to encourage the people try to accept it english is not our mother tongue we learned english through written pattern and gradually we developed our own language what is wrong with it so better to focus on fluency clarity of expression clarity of idea clarity of thinking the best speakers in India or use their own slang. Already I told you, previously I told you, Abdul Kalam used his own slang. He became world famous speaker. Isn't it? Even Manmohan Singh studied in Oxford and Cambridge, but he used his own tongue. Jawaharlal Nehru studied in Oxford and Cambridge, 
one of the finest personality in the world and he used, he used his own tongue throughout the world all oxford professors coming from asia they used their own tongue but the entire world accept them use your own tongue use your own native language then you will be identified don't copy don't imitate any language if you try to speak like americans you are a big fool if you try to speak like britishers just you are a double fool if you comment any person who is speaking english just you are a triple fool if you encourage anybody who is trying to speak out the language just you are a good man if you add some important information to that person you are the best man try to encourage the people then youngsters are the rural people the rural students as well as urban students they feel comfortable then they come out if you give them chance they bring out their knowledge already language is there in their mind in their heart your duty is give them chance to bring it out why students are scared to open their mouths basically you are forcing them you don't know this you don't know that you don't know uh, vowels properly you don't know consonants properly but this person doesn't know diphthongs or vowels properly isn't it how can you blame the people how can you blame these uh, students student community are my dear friends use your own voice use your own tongue use your own slang use your own english for political games for business purposes for show offs for these so called media is highlighting unnecessary issues use your own language those people who are commenting some people's languages even politician languages bureaucrats languages do they have guts to comment abdul kalam's voice is it possible why not use your own voice even professors indian professors the world class professors are indian professors english professors if you go to oxford or cambridge there our indians are there in an english department is there and they accept english people accept us appreciate us our talents but why still we are fighting for these things accent pronunciation if anybody says that improve your pronunciation first you shut your mouth it is not your duty this is my voice this is my tongue if you accept accept otherwise reject i don't bother about it that level you reach dear friends that level you reach but you never compromise your ideas your aim is to focus on syntax structure of the language how the language english language is organized like brick by brick and the meaning of the language what i am speaking and how i am speaking what i am speaking and how i am speaking if you focus on these two areas you will be proficient in speaking skill many people give you improve your speaking improve your speaking what does it mean how can you improve your speaking skill just by practicing by using your tongue frequently by speaking out by reading out orally oral reading train to your tongue makes you a good speaker forget about uh, grammar forget about pronunciation forget about this forget about that but keep on training to your tongue use your own voice use your own voice never try to imitate others don't focus on useless areas unless first 5 years 6 years of your age or 8 years of your age you stay in that particular culture it is difficult for you impossible for you to speak like a native person imitation is the worst method use your own voice use your own tongue 
it is the best method it is the way to improve your speaking skill speaking ability try to practice try to focus on these areas in my uh, teaching career i observed hundreds and thousands of students came out in initial time they were scared to open their mouths so i asked them why not because from childhood onwards you have been exposed to english language why not because when i speak i think that there will be some uh, wrong things or uh, wrong words in my speech whether i am correct or not whether my voice is clear or not these kind of questions have been raised i said you forget about all these things no accent no pronunciation no grammar speak out they started speaking out gradually they started expressing themselves so within 2 3 years they became the best speakers they were able to speak language because language is there in you you don't need to learn language outside and the language is there in you but your duty is to bring out language which you have in your heart and your mind inside to outside not outside to inside everything comes from outside in, outside to inside your food you take food you take from outside to inside you drink water drink water from outside to inside you breathe you take breath it is also air is also coming from outside to inside food outside to inside water outside to inside breath outside to inside idea mind your knowledge your mathematics your technology your science your intelligence everything comes from outside to inside your intelligence is also coming from outside to inside but only one thing in your life comes from inside to outside only one thing come from out inside to outside reverse everything come from outside to inside in outside to inside food outside to inside water outside to inside air outside to inside breath ideas knowledge outside to inside but only one thing from in you coming from inside to outside that is speech that is speech the power of speech only one thing in your life come from inside to outside that is speech no other thing in your life no other thing in you come from inside to outside except speech do you show me anything except vomiting sometimes very rare times but when you speak you open your mouth and speak out first time you open your mouth. you take food water breath knowledge all but when you want to speak open your mouth it comes through from mind to mouth or heart to mouth your speech comes from your speech come from two areas one is from mind second is come from heart mind means idea your ideas are coming out through your mind heart means you are feel add feel to your idea suppose you are getting idea from your mind if you add your feel through your my heart then it will becomes best speech the best spe- speakers are adding these two things idea plus feel idea plus feel ideas plus feeling they add these two things by using by utilizing this by organizing this they become best speakers so how difficult speech is but people think speech is very easy casual american native language english british native language english australian native language english new zealand native language english do you believe or not american schools have a separate teacher only for speaking skills to make the student to speak the language personal language as well as public speaking the highest paid teacher is also speech teacher in america in england in australia european countries native countries 
because they value to their language but in our culture we don't value to our mother tongue there is no value for telugu teacher there is no value for hindi teacher there is no value for english teacher because these marks are not added in your mset scores our education is about only mset engineering medicine engineering medicine if it is there then how can you become a communicator who is responsible for your failure think once so better to focus on these areas so how difficult speech is unless you take much concentration unless you focus on language much and much unless daily you train to yourself in speaking unless you focus on speaking areas speaking ability or speech methods it is difficult for you to speak the language effectively fluently not possible impossible just you become a conversationist the so called people say that i know english i know english then why don't you teach language english language then you we go and teach english language why we english teachers we sell vegetables in the street or we sell fruits in the street the so called people who know believe that i know english i know english what kind of english do you know whether it is organized the syntax semantics is properly followed are you a professional teacher so let them do their work whether it is hindi teacher or telugu teacher or english teacher first respect language teacher from lkg to university level first respect to the language teachers if we respect to the language teachers automatically students respect to the language teachers and they learn something from teachers and they develop their language skills but at the end your children or you everybody wants communication skills communication skills or speaking skills speaking skills just communication is not about uh, heaven and earth communication is about practice communication is about a skill is a skill how do you get it with the help of your teacher in electronic age in global age but we need a teacher the way americans give priority to speech teachers language teachers if you give importance to a speaking skill if you give importance to teachers definitely just you get command over the language instead of searching fonts with the teachers instead of blaming the teachers instead of neglecting the teachers instead of commenting the teachers instead of criticizing the student, uh, teachers before closing this uh, speaking video just i say one thing to all the students who watch this video never try to judge your teacher never try to judge your teacher don't judge your teacher from lkg to university level never judge your teacher because you are a student try to learn the things in a proper manner if you cannot understand try to ask him again and one more time how do you judge your teacher you are a learner first to learn there is a process for teacher recruitment there is a huge process and instead of judging the teachers try to learn the things from the teachers it takes time to adjust with the teacher because teachers ideology is different their idea is different their uh, methodology of teaching is different every teacher is different not necessary to understand each and every teacher not possible if you cannot understand a teacher means it is your fault not teacher fault because if you understand a teacher means doesn't mean that it is teacher's greatness it is also just you are able to understand that particular teacher that content teachers aim is always how can i express this how can i bring out this information to the students minds that is the aim of the teacher try to focus on these areas try to develop these skills and listen to the teachers respect to the language teachers apart from subject teachers like engineering teachers or science teachers math teachers and respect to the language teachers also not only english language teachers 
Hindi language teacher, Telugu language teacher or any language because there is a huge demand for language acquisition. So communication is utmost important in present day society. Your communication is very important. Your job market depends upon your communication. How to develop your communication? Instead of focusing on useless things, still you have been focusing on grammar. It is not at all uh, relevant for the society. Not important. Grammar is only for writing purpose, written communication purpose. So to speak language, focus on ideas, phrases, phrasal verbs. Don't much focus on phonetics or accent or intonation. Already I told you, no Indian speaks like American. No Indian speaks like English people. Just we, we were born here, we studied here and we have been teaching here. When we get opportunities, we go to abroad. But our English is accepted by worldwide. Our English teachers are accepted by world, European world. Instead of blaming teachers, try to understand teachers, try to learn something from the teachers and don't involve I don't involve in unnecessary matters like these unnecessary areas. Don't divert your attention from academics or as well as language skills to other areas. Like when you uh, speak language, you think in Telugu language. Before that, just you think whether you have spoken right or not, whether it is correct or not. Don't deviate your attention from these areas. So this is about speaking skill. So to sum up this uh, particular topic, Speech is very important, it is uh, spontaneous, it is live interaction, it reaches to other person immediately within seconds. Next, there are three types of speak, uh, speaking areas or uh, there are type, three types of speeches. First type is face to face interaction, one person to another person. Second type is one person to more than two, three people, it is group talk. Third is public speaking or uh, to speak in public or to present, uh, to give presentation in, in the public like uh, PPTs or uh, presentations or uh, research paper presentations like it. Thank you very much and subscribe it and like, give your uh, likes. So before closing it, I request everybody take everything positive. Take everything positive. And believe your strength and focus on developing areas. Improve your communication, improve your speaking ability. It is the most difficult task People immediately comment, criticize others. You don't accept those things. But develop your own potential. Use your own slang. Use your own tongue. And speak with your own English. Wherever you are, if you are far from a remote area of Adilabad, just use your own accent. People laugh at you. No problem. This person one day go to Oxford University, Cambridge University. Not as a student, as a professor. That level you reach, that kind of capacity you have. If you have subject, the world recognizes you. So, don't blame anybody, don't criticize anybody. Try to support others, try to encourage others. Suppose somebody is ready to speak some language, try to encourage him instead of blaming him. Thank you very much. Meet you again. In third part, it is about writing, writing skill. First skill is listening, second skill is speaking, third is reading, fourth is writing. Already listening, previous session, it was over. Today, I take a session on speaking. Third is writing. Next session will be on writing skill. Fourth will be on writing skill. Listening over, speaking. Reading next. Fourth one, writing. All these are professional videos. Live recording. Without any editing, just I speak to the people directly through my mobile. Samsung M20 mobile. All these recordings are spontaneous. It is like extempore. 